In this video, we are going to work on the slideshow. So this is what we are going to work on in this video. In order for us to do that, the first thing that we need to do is to get the image data. To realize that the image is inside here. Right, so we need to get the image data. That's the first thing that we need to do. So, why here becomes image underscore data is equal to an array. So this one over here will contain the URL or the path to where the image is being located. So this one will be HTTP colon slash slash. Since we are developing it, we are developing it in the local server, we are using HTTP colon slash local host. But if you are developing it the server, that's actually then use www dot whatever your domain name is you place it here and this one will be localhost slash instagram slash asset slash images these are the image we have one dot png then comma then do so we have four images this two, this three, this four, and over here will be semicolon. So they, this one contain our image data. This one over here contain our image data. So what do we need to do? Right, what do we need to do? So create a function called show slice. So this one will be function show slice so there is it so why you invoke the function here okay so why this is what we we'll do just do console.log and for the meantime let's do console.log image data to see whether our logic is working fine so click here and inspect to your console so this is it okay it's an array arrays are zero in this base so this one is zero this one is one this one is two this one is three but the length is four okay so this is what we are going to do remove this one from here we are going to use set interval method the set interval method via these two parameters the function the time the function of y will be the slider the time is 3000 milliseconds that's 30 seconds we want to wait for three seconds then we change it so this one let timer then over here, let's create a function so the function will be arrow function so this one be slider which is equal to the uh, arrow function is it this is what I'm trying to do, right? So after three seconds, I want us to change this image to a new image. So after every three seconds, I want us to change this image using the set interval method or function. So by let's do console.log so that I'll show you what I'm trying to do. Console.log. Hi. So every three seconds, this one over here will fire or will run. So as you can see, one, two, three. So every three seconds, this one run. So now this is what I'm trying to do. Remove this one from here. This one, the first index, right? So the slide index is this one. That's the first index, which is this one. Right, so over here will be let slide index be zero. That's this one. So I want it, I want to fetch this one, the first element, which is this one. That's the first image. 
right? Then over here, over here, I want to increase, I want to add one to this one. So this one will be slide index plus plus then semicolon. So every after 30 seconds, I want to add one to this one. After 30 seconds, I want to add one to this one. So the first instance is here. After 30 seconds, I'll add one to it so it will be here. To display this image. After 30 seconds, I want to add one to this one. To display new image. After 30 seconds, I'll, I want to add one to this one. To display a new image. So in order for us to do that, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? That is the question we need to ask us. What do we need to do? We need to know where the image is being displayed. We are displaying the image over here. We are displaying the image over here. Right? So we need to get this class, right? Using the get selector method, this one. So this one will be const. Image element is equal to what get selector method. You realize that this one is a class. As you can see, it's a class. If your image, copy this one from here. So this one be dot, then paste it here. Don't forget your semicolon. So basic. So over here, to be what? Over here. Be image element dot star dot background background image. We want to change the background image? Then this one be baptic. Then this one be the URL. So this one be dollar sign the carry basis. Then this one will be what image data. Then this one will be what. Slide index, slider index, right? Use it, and over here will be semicolon. But there will be an error. But first, let's go and test it whether our logic is working fine. So now let's refresh it. Okay, we are getting an error over here saying that. Not found. Okay, but this one is undefined, which is correct. Okay, so why is it not found? Inside, it's inside the public folder. This is public. Okay, let's remove this one. So this one will be public. Now let's duplicate it. So this one will be two, this one will be three, this one will be four. Now let's go back. So as you can see over here. As you can see. But there will be an error here. See, undefined, not found. Because why? Why is that one happening? The first instance after 30 seconds will increase the slider index to 1. So it will fetch this one. After 30 seconds, we increase the slider index to additional 1. So now it's now 2. After 30 seconds, let me do console.log so that you guys will see it well. So this one console.log. Slide index. Instead of, yeah, it should not talk much. So now, one second instant two third three now four as you can see now because the slider index is now five there is no image there is no so there will be an error so what are we supposed to do what are we supposed to do this one is zero one two three Always 
as zero index base. So the third index, the last image that we have. So if the slider index is equal to three, we we'll set the slider index to minus one. So when I'm when we when we switch here, we we'll add minus one plus one is zero. So it will fetch what first element. What am I trying to say? If slider index is three, which is the last one, this one, last one. So if the slider index over here is equal to three, meaning that it's indeed the last one because this one is zero, one, two, three. If the slider index is equal to three, it's the last one. And what we need to do is that we will set we we'll set this one. So we we'll set this one to minus one. So if this one is minus one over here, after three seconds, minus one plus plus. So minus one, minus one plus one will give us what zero. So meaning that it will fetch what the first image. That's image one. So that's the logic that we are implementing. Okay, so we move this one. So this one be right in this. Is equal to minus one. Yeah, so we are done. Done. Okay, so let's. This is the first image. One, two, three. So after three seconds, we'll fetch the first image, which is this one. Right. So meaning that our logic has worked fine. Okay, as you can see, one. So meaning that our logic has worked fine. That is it for this video. In the next video, we are going to work on the validation. We are going to check and see whether the email is a correct email. And also, we are going to check and see whether the input field is not empty. Right now, it's empty. So, we are going to check and see whether everything is okay before inserting in data into our database. So, see you in the next video.